And we're back with the 2021 Mono Free Custom World Championship. Round 14 brings us none other than the heart of British motorsports. Welcome one and all to Silverstone for the British Grand Prix. Usually this comes out of the way, if you end up liking the video, give a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And this is the bag that we're going to use for this race. As for our weekend, well, it didn't go exactly well. We couldn't muster our time to get into Q2 directly, so we had to go into Q1. Despite how awful the free practice sessions went, we managed to punch our ticket into Q2, but unfortunately we couldn't get higher than 6th. And here's the grid. First is Acosta, Denis Macia, Garcia, Antonelli, and Fanari ourselves. Minho, Bender, Rodrigo, Yamanaka, Fudge, and McPhee. Toba, Suzuki, Alcoba, Artigat, Sal, Chanchu. Rossi, Falon, Napa, Kuni, Koffler, Farid, Hijidar. Tarai, Fernandez, Sasaki, Tupaski, and Guevara. The red lights are on. And we're off to Silverstone. And we get an amazing start. We're in third. Into cops. And here comes the section that I really hate. Maggots and backheads. Ooh. Here comes Minho. There's a crash behind us. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is going well. Now that corner chapel is a lot more tighter with the bikes. With Formula 1 cars and, well, cars in general, is um, you get the secondary road, quote unquote. Here he is, into Stowe at the end of Hangar Straight. They took ATMs, uh, HM Motorsports, fighting up front. Bit too wide. And crossing the Formula 1 start finish rate. And into the arena section. Okay, good entrance. Now here entrance is absolutely everything. 
And that was not a good one. Here comes Garcia. Bit of contact. Side by side coming coming out of H3. We have Hover Pass the Gas Gas. Which is a honestly stupid name for a bike to have, but uh. Here comes Garcia. Into Luffield. Field. Ooh. But we've been there for fourth, and that was lap number one. Intercops fighting again with Garcia. He backs out, coming into Mackets and Backets. Here comes Bender. Ooh, that was not bad. Not bad. Oh, never mind. We got passed. Let's see if we can make some ground in Hangar Straight. Not really. Still fighting Garcia, and now Rodrigo is getting into the action. Bit of contact with the Argentinian. Hard break, more contact with Garcia. And that was not good. That was very not good. We're getting overtaken. Whoa! Yeah, here's the thing about the, the eye on the circuit. They tend to cut that corner a lot. Garcia is looking behind him. We go on the inside of Antonelli, which becomes our outside. And nothing. Get to the slipstream of Antonelli. Ooh, that was a nice... Ooh, and there goes uh, Rodrigo. And Antonelli as well. And here comes lap number three. By the way, I am aware that MotoGP 22 uh, got announced. And uh, my reaction to that was... I went with this championship. I went from... Uh, Sort of on schedule to being severely behind schedule. And since I want to finish the championship before uh, the game re that game releases, I'm actually going to have two races per week rather than the usual one. I know it sounds overkill, but again, I want to finish this championship before the new game releases. Because I want to give uh, this year's game a lot more focus than uh, this year's. How was that not a corner cut? Like, seriously. Whoops. There's a crush behind us, but we don't care about that one. Now, if the race ends up like this, and Garcia finishes in third, I think he's actually going to lose the lead of the championship for the first time since the beginning. Two laps to go. We're close down on the duo. We may try for an attack. Taking the slipstream of Garcia. Still there.
Here comes an attack. Still nothing. Okay, the inside line, he keeps the position. Okay, okay, ooh, okay, that was a bit dirty, but, uh, 24th place. Can we get an entry? We're closing in on the Spaniard, leader of the championship, maybe, maybe not. Let's line to Brooklyn's, and it's a left field. And we're in first place starting at the start of the last lap. Of course, the objective is now to protect third place. Here it comes. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Here he is, here he comes. Here comes Bender as well. Sabasani coming into stow. There we go. Heartbreak. Watch out here to avoid any possible contacts. There we go. Into the arena section. Coming out of entry. Last couple of corners. We pull up this in gap. Trying to keep a, a line as tight as possible. To low field. It's gonna be a KTM 1 2. But we finished the Grand Prix. In third place. What a race. <laughs> I was not expecting that. And as previously said, it's a KTM 1 2 with Acosta first and then Masia. Then it's ourselves in third with an amazing comeback drive in the last two laps. Then it's Binder, Garcia, Mino, Artigas, Suzuki, Faggia, Rafanati, Antonelli, Toba, Napa, Rossi, and Rodrigo runs up the top 15. On your screen are the championship standings after the race. And for our next stop, we go back to Austria for the Styrian Grand Prix. So, if you like this video, give a like. If you didn't like it, go away. If you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you get it. There are my future drops. I have nothing else to say other than see you in the next video, everybody. This Alpha, signing out. It means always a positive result. But it's also true that this rider could have gone further today. It's definitely a result which bodes well for future races.